How dangerous is ethanol really for you, carburetor? Let's try to find out. This here is the original carburetor gasket and the accelerator pump membrane from a 1984 2CV. I cut the gaskets in half. One goes into 98% ethanol and the other goes into pure petrol. So let's wait for a year and see if there's a difference after that. It's the 7th of October 2024. I'm back one year and one day later. I've let air into the jars every now and then so that any oxidation taking place will have oxygen. The petrol has evaporated more than alcohol, so I'm careful to compare the materials at the bottom of the samples. And I've also noted that the alcohol's color has become darker than the petrol, which you can't see here very well. But the difference was quite visible in the first month before the ev evaporation took place. I was surprised to find that both samples look exactly the same. I tried the microscope, I tried the magnifying glass, no difference. That when putting them under stress, it seems that the ethanol exposed sample um, has weakened a little bit more. So it seems that I can break things off a bit easier on this one. And also here with the rubbery accelerator pump membrane, it feels a little bit softer the bit that was in uh, ethanol compared to petrol. Material can swell and get thicker in alcohol or it can dissolve and become thinner. I measured it, but I couldn't find any difference between the samples. And now it gets a bit annoying. I came back the next day after the samples had dried out, and this time I couldn't feel any more difference in the gaskets. Um, they both, both samples seem to break apart just as easily, and also the rubber membrane samples feel now exactly the same. Now what does this mean? Well first relying on my senses mostly is not very scientific. A proper tensile stress test would have been better. But still the test has shown that ethanol is not a quick destroyer of gasket material or rubber membranes. What does it mean for us? I mean nobody fills up pure ethanol. The question is, is one year in pure ethanol the same as 10 years in E10 or 20 years in E5? Not necessarily so, tells me a friend who's a diploma chemica at BASF. The relationship between ethanol reactivity and its concentration is not linear and somewhat complicated. But he also assures me that it is very unlikely that my samples would have degraded significantly even after years of exposure in E10 or E5. But he also reminds us that ethanol attracts water, so metals could corrode quicker. In any case, I'm a little bit less worried about ethanol in fuel after my test. Goodbye.